Guys, I know a lot of you are all about the bird deals, but sometimes, sometimes somebody already did the hard work for you, and that's what we got right here. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. My name is James Wise. I will be your host. I will be your guide. I will be the dude helping you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. And who I'm working with today is my man, Jonathan. Jonathan, you are a brand new investor from Brooklyn, New York. You came to me to help... Uh, for me to help you build your real estate portfolio in the Cleveland market, right? And uh, you were interested in doing some bird deals, okay? That's buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, guys. You buy a crummy house, you spend a lot of money fixing it up, you slap a tenant in there, you refinance it, you start the process all over. And I just did a video like that for you, Jonathan. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you this one as well, because here's your situation, right? You have $30,000. You needed $65,000 to pull off that burr. Now, I, of course, sent you our list of lenders, which anybody else who's watching this, if you want that same list, sales at holdenwise.com. Shoot us an email. We'll get you the list. And as a matter of fact, shoot us your phone number, too. We'll give you a call. We'll talk to you about how you can work with us in the same way Jonathan is, right? So I sent you that list, right? You could talk to all the lenders, talk to any other lenders. I encourage you guys to talk to as many lenders as you possibly can, right? Acquiring financing is very important in this real estate business, okay? You guys, you got to pay to play, right? Uh, so you're going to navigate through all that. But I thought since, hey, man, you got $30,000 right now, I thought I should show this to you as well, right? I know a lot of people, they get tunnel vision about burr deals and flips and things of that nature, and, and they forget that sometimes it doesn't have to be that hard. Sometimes it could be pretty freaking easy, and that's what we got here with this big old beautiful duplex, right? What this is is 3029 West 104th Cleveland 44111. Solid, solid. C-class neighborhood, right? Listed at 89.9. We got two tenants, each tenant paying $750. And the units, man, everything's already done. It's, it's all done, guys. You don't have to do anything, right? It's got the gray walls. It's got the hardwood floors. It's neutral. It's clean. It's crisp. We got the white paint every which way, right? You know, sometimes... We don't have to go through all the effort of a big old rehab. We got the modern kitchen. We even got the, like, you know, fancy, I don't know, reclaimed wood or whatever the hell you want to call that. You know, I'm, people love that crap, right? It's, it's great. It, it's all done, right? You don't have to do anything. This, this thing is just ready uh, for you to start making money. They even placed the tenants. They placed them at 750 okay? So just a, a solid deal, solid investment, which, by the way, if, if you're noticing, there's no garage. In Cleveland itself, guys, that's not a big deal. It's very common for these multifamily homes not to have a garage, right? It does not affect your rentability. Uh, it does not affect your vacancy, and it does not affect your resale value. Hey, lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. So if you're like, oh, man, I want to spend 20 k to put a garage in there and then resell the property. You, know, you don't want to do that, bro, because, you know, it's worth 89 right now. And if you put a garage in there, even though you spent 20 k in that garage, it's still going to be worth 89 It's no real value to the garage. Uh, so just a little tidbit there, right? So with all that, John, this deal, this one's going to fly. If you want to buy this deal, you're going to have to pay 89 because other people are going to want it because the numbers are so good, right? With that 1500 a month coming in, I anticipate spending approximately half of that, right? 742 out the door, leaving 752, 748 out the door rather, leaving 752 coming in the door, right? That's approximately nine G's a year. 
if you bought it at list price, which is eighty nine nine, which is absolutely what this thing's worth, dude. That's a ten cap, and you have thirty thousand dollars. You only need to spend twenty two and a half, and that should net you an estimated annualized performance of twenty five percent cash on cash return. Right after you pay for all your expenses, after you pay for my team to manage the asset, after you pay off your mortgage, which remember some of that mortgage payment is actually going towards your uh, your, your principal. Right, you're paying that money to yourself. It's going to net you in your pocket a 25% return on your money. And if I can take your attention back to the estimates of expenses, right? Repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, right? 900 a year for each of those three items. Those are not necessarily things you're spending right now. That's a lot of money that's going in your pocket right now, right? You don't have to worry about vacancy and non-payment when you got two current paying tenants in there at 750 apiece. That's you saving that money for issues down the road because eventually you'll get non-payers, eventually you'll do evictions. Capital expenditures, that's you saving for when you have to redo that roof. Roofs last 30 years in the Cleveland market. And on a property like this, they're probably about 8 Gs, right? Furnaces last 30 years as well, approximately. They cost three grand. You got two in this property. Hot water tanks, you got to do those about every 15 years. Those cost a grand, right? So you're saving that $900 towards those big expenses. You don't got to worry about it now because we got a renovated house. But eventually, you're going to have to deal with that, right? So... The first option I gave you falls right in line with what you asked me for, right? A Burr deal. That required a $35,000 rental. But I wanted to show you this, right? Because that $35,000 rental would require you reach out to hard money lenders. And then once you get through the big old rehab and paying back your hard money lenders, then we could refi it into the traditional financing. This particular property... You're already there, bro. You're already there. We got the renovated house, the newer furnaces. Everything is new. It's all done. And you could go right in just to that permanent financing. Still have 8 k left over to save up for your next investment. You could just keep this one super clean, super simple, super easy. Sometimes the easiest route is the best route. So I wanted to give you both these options. So just like when I sent you the other video, reply to that email. Reply to this email. Let me and my team know which property you'd like to make an offer on. And then, of course, we will help you schedule your inspection, schedule your appraisals, and then we'll be able to take over the property management, take over the property insurance, handle those rehabs if you do the bird deal, or just go right to that property management if you do this deal. Everybody else, if you want to work with me in the same way John has been doing, send my team an email, sales at holdwines.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call, talk to you about how we can help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.